Oh, hello, everybody. Welcome back for another breakdown. Today, we have one of my favorite things to look at when I'm looking for uh, cinematographies or styles that I really enjoy is can a cinematographer take something that is incredibly boring and make it halfway interesting just through the look creation, right? This is like the antithesis of what cinematographers in magazines uh, talk about when they've done feature films. Like, no, it's not about the image. It's not about making it cool just because that's what you do. Uh, you know, it's all about the story. And that's a great quote. I mean, I would use that quote too. I would say, no, 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 it's not about the looks. Uh, but in the commercial world, sometimes you get really, really boring scripts and it's just people sitting there talking. And that is the best for, at least that's the, the thing that I find most enjoyable. What is a really good cinematographer going to do in a situation where they don't have you know, the tricks of having some killer story. It's just a boring story. What can they do creatively? What can they do with the light? What can they do with the room, with the blocking, with the lensing, with the framing? How are they going to make this thing halfway interesting? And that's what we're looking at today. Uh, done by a fantastic cinematographer, Rob Hardy. Uh, you will know the movies that he has shot. And today we're looking at a car commercial. It's a car commercial uh, as we play through it that doesn't really have any cars. Immediately what you're going to notice is, or at least what I notice, is just the balance. So the, the nuance between the shadow and the midtones and the highlights, right? It's very controlled. You can feel it across the entire image, but it's about the density. It's about the faces. It's about the contrast. It just blends in. Nothing feels lit, but everything is beautiful, right? This shot feels a little bit lit, but other than that, nothing feels lit. It's just perfectly sculpted. And there is attention to detail in the shadows. Like that's a beautiful looking shot, man. This is another nice one. Like the balances between the foreground and the background, you know that it's being lit. This one again, I mean, that, who's, whose room looks like that, right? Except in TV land, which is why you should be on TV because your room looks like that, right? So again, Cadillac, it's beautiful. This is another beautiful shot too, man. Like this, not that one. That's not real. This one, like just the density. If we go full screen, just to have enough detail there where it's not clipped, to see the faces out there, this little flare thing that probably isn't real. Uh, just a beautiful looking shot, like edge top there, little back edges here, got enough return from whatever light this is over here that you just, the balance is perfect, right? Like once you get to a certain level, this is what it's all about. It's all about this balance. So we should be looking at, well, let's do the first one first, right? Like, okay, framework, we know we got a window over here. We're not going to light actually through that window. That window is going to be our excuse to bring in our actual light. So we're going to light this up a little bit. We're going to have our room tone in the background, but really we're faking another light over here, which is this light, right? And then a little bit on the cheek and then darkness. This is just like, does this feel lit? No, it feels, it doesn't feel like there's a light right there going through whatever, six by six of diffusion. It doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like there's an egg just over here. It all sits in because of this balance with the background, right? The room tone and little window in there just showing you, hey, 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 there's a window here. That's where this natural light is coming from. You got the layers here of the framing as well. And this is a guy just looking at something through, what is that? Some sort of uh, magnifying glass or something. Same thing, this one, same thing. Like look at the balance. I think this guy ends up looking to camera, but just magically the light lands perfectly there. You've got this there. There's no like hot spots on the table. They've done well to flag that off. So really the light is only reaching there. Plus you got a guy in white with other people in white in the frame, which is always tricky. But somehow this beautiful, soft directional light just comes that way. You get this little leak of blue down this side of the face here. We're smooshing in from both sides. This is a little bit hot, but there's nothing you can do with that, right? Because it's a reflective surface and it's probably in the angle of, if there's a 12 by 12 over here, it's probably catching full 12 by. So that's a little bit hot, but it doesn't distract because this is still hotter, right? You still have that point of focus. We're shooting down the line of the table. So not flat to the table, but using the edges to create another dimension, right? We want to shoot and create layers. Also, this thing helps, right? This little window back there, other people, we got some practicals on back there, all shooting along this thing, just layering the frame in front of the person as much as we can, but still just like a beautiful and balance, right? This, this light doesn't feel out of place in this space. And that makes, that sounds like, oh, that's obvious. That's really hard to do. This is the really hard bit especially on the day when you have 10,000 people saying, uh, are you ready to go? Like, should we, should we go? Like, is the light ready? You got people standing around, you got schedules to keep. Same with this one, right? We're balancing again, just so happen to be in the only area where we can sneak a little light in here. We're shooting along this 
coming with the light this way. We're going to see when we come into his close-up that it's perfectly done. This one, we don't really care about as much. This one, okay. So this is the one where, I mean, it's a closer, much closer frame. Also, this guy's arms seem really tiny compared to his head because he's leaning in so far on his body. Like, who sits that low on the table? Just seems like a low table. Anyway, uh, we're getting lots of level here and lots of darkness here. Even though it's dark back here, you got these practicals on in the background. We're shooting into the L of this room. Just this one feels the most lit to me, right? And that just shows you, even a, a fantastic cinematographer like this, there's just like 10% here just feels that little bit more lit up than the other ones. This, I mean, what are you going to do better than this in this space with this light on this person? Like this is nice, soft, soft shadows. You can barely see where the transition happens, right? It just all of a sudden gets lighter over there because you can see in his eyes, we have our beautiful four by frame over here, probably a magic cloth or something. And we are just wrapping this light around this way. He's looking in between towards what we have in the foreground, right? He's not looking this way because then this side would be all lit up and this side would be super dark and you wouldn't get that over the nose look. So he's looking this way, light over here, neg over here, but we're not, it's not so, everything is just perfectly balanced because it's, if it's too dark, if it's too down, if this neg wraps around too much, then it makes it weird that this person is in a, you know, this laboratory that is all light and bright in the background, but there's, beautiful sculpted light on him, right? It's got to sit in the in the space. And this is a perfect example. This entire commercial is a perfect example of that. We're outside, right? This guy's playing chess outside. We are softening off and you can see the softening that happens in the skin from like a highlight or a half soft frost. This is what it looks like, right? It's not natural, but it looks nice. Like nobody's skin has these has this glow to it outside, but it looks nice. Now, are we sandwiching this thing? Yes, right? Because uh, let's see, where is the sun? Back here, it's hard to tell. That looks like real sun. So you're imagining that this is the sun, and then this is the bounce, or the other way around, this is the sun, and this is the bounce, right? Because this one seems a little bit more, a little bit hotter than this one. So, but the building, it's hard to judge in the background. Either way, you're getting angles from both sides, right? And still keeping things interesting with this little, these little chess pieces in the foreground, looking down this way. We still got that nice little dark area in the middle. We're sort of smushing it from both sides, though. We keep going. Again, same thing in this little workshop. I mean, okay, so we're blowing out this window altogether. We don't care about that thing. But we still got a little line of light here. And then just, there is some level in there, right? It's just, it's very muted. But it, in the toe of the image, that's just, you're just expanding that toe, which makes it seem so much more, like there's so much more depth to the image. Same thing with this one, right? Like, beautiful light coming this way. We're backlighting everything. Doesn't matter if it's dummies standing on the side of this workshop here, we're going to backlight it. Then we get to this one. So this is like, it doesn't feel lit. It feels natural. And this is what we're going for. And this is what you should be going for, right? You don't want to, you don't want the light to be so obvious that it's like spotlight from a stage, but this is right. Little tiny leak to the other side. There is like a little edge coming down the ear. You can feel it from these things. Probably though, what they norm, what you normally do with these things, if you're doing practicals, um, in the shot and you're in a warehouse and you can't really control the lighting in there, you're going to use these until they're out of the frame. Then you're going to either turn them off or black them out. So this terrible color doesn't get all over the person's skin. And we don't want, you know, the flatness that comes from this. But even still, like you don't see any of these lights on this side because then that would bring light on this side. So normally you black these out when they start to affect what can be seen in camera as long as they're out of the frame. And then we're going to key from this side and looking this way, big and soft. And again, just matching. The hard part here is like, let's say this is a sky panel, like an S60 through a four by frame of diffusion, right? It's probably going to have to be bigger than this for uh, this size shot. Let's just say it's a six by six, right? And you've got it and it's only, it's going through the sky panel softbox. Then it's going through the six by six. Uh, and then it's hitting our person here. All you really have to do nowadays with the sky panel is you just... Well, I mean, you can, you can do it, or you can be sitting with the eyepiece or the monitor, and someone else can be doing it. You just say, take it down, 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 down. Yes. And maybe this is 76% if it's magic cloth, or maybe it's 12% if this is uh, something lighter. You know, it's like, all you have to do is make sure not to make it too hot relative to the room tone. And let's say the room tone you can't control, right? There's something back there, like there's a window. Well, then you have to balance to the window. And then you have to, might have to bring three sky panels to be able to get this level versus the background. 
But here we just, if you want to set this mood back here, set the mood first, knowing that we don't have that much to light here, right? It's a big shot, but all we really are lighting is this person. So it doesn't require a ton of level to be able to get this. And it's just understanding, okay, what are we balancing to? What do we want the background to look like? If you don't want it too dark, uh, balance, just set the camera to whatever this is, whatever look this is, and then push the key to that level, right? Just balancing what's going to take longer. Is it going to take longer to change the key light? Or is it going to take longer to re-tube all of these practicals? Okay, let's keep going. Nice little move here. Again, nice balanced versus the background, shooting into the depth, person in the middle of the screen, little tiny leak over there, right? Just keeping everything balanced and nuanced. Same thing there, a little bit close, cut off his head. Basketball's a little bit flat. We're in a laboratory. Chef, rack focus, and oh, the bedroom one. And we didn't even talk about this one. Look at this. Like this is, so this is, okay, it is a sun sandwich, right? But it's not, a sun sandwich inside is okay because you're not using the sun. This is, we got sun coming through these windows. There's some sort of crazy shadow back here like there is over here. That thing just comes out of nowhere, <laughs> right? It's probably like a Jolico, like a Source 4 with a little attachment just to give us this thing here, give us a little shape to it. Then we balance to these windows. This is probably a studio, so we just blow those windows out. Then we're pushing from this side, negging all down here, and then that little tiny leak of light, which just opens it up. I mean, that's a good looking shot. And yeah, okay, this level is a little bit, you know, theatrical for this level of the room. But if you wanted less, all you do is you take power out of here. If, you've, if it's not something you can just dial down the opacity on, you just throw up a wire in front of it or a net or something. So find a way to bring down this level. And if you want some over here, you just move the light that way a little bit. You just move it around a little bit. But this is like the perfect. And that is a good looking shot, right? It's rich. There's detail. We've got this. So he sticks out from the background. Uh, yeah, it's just a nice looking shot. Good density, good levels, nice color all together. Same with this, same setup. And you basically see where it goes from here. Bam, that is, come on. That's a good looking shot, right? That might even be, it almost looks fake. You know, it almost looks like that bed is on green screen and all the stuff back here because the, the lighting is so good. And that's often, we've talked about this on the channel before, but nowadays, especially with the mini LF, when you shoot with that, if you're shooting wide open, uh, you do get that effect of, not only because the focus is so, the focal plane is so small, but sometimes it just makes it feel like this is not real, right? Like this could easily be green screen back here. And this person is just on a green screen stage. Anyway, good looking stuff. I like this outdoor. Okay, so it is, this is the real sun over here, right? And then this is open up to sky over here because you feel all this front light. So I was right, there you go. So again, that's another one too. If you're not gonna go too wide here, well now on the schedule, you don't have to worry about it because a 12 by, well, I mean, not even a 12 by, a little, eight by eight will cover this section of the frame. And then as long as you have enough level here, right? Whatever you're using as your diffusion here, as long as you can still get enough level here, not to have this stuff blow out, well, then you're good, right? I mean, it's a, it flattens it off a little bit, but it is interesting still. You got the dark, you got the light, you got the light there, light again. There's not much darkness, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, interesting stuff. And then the final image, ta-da. I mean, that is a beautiful shot. <laughs> it is a good looking shot right there. And even this, man, how soft it is. You're not gonna find somebody on a TEDx stage looking that good, right? They're gonna look horrendous, like that. As you come down here, where does this shadow go? See this harshness? Oh, why do we have the giant pen? See the harshness on this shadow here? Oops, shadow right on the neck. Look at how harsh that is. Then when we come in, let's make this person actually look halfway decent. Yes, that shadow is gone. Right, we have softened up that thing like crazy. She's got two eye lights, one coming over this way. You can see the shadow underneath the nose, just so soft under there. And then in the background, you see the same thing, just whoo, and we're out. And there's a three, there's a CG car, ta-da. Anyway, good looking ad, a nice example of how a high level cinematographer can just blend the key light in with the background, with the room tone, and it just makes it feel so much richer. So that's our look. If you've got questions about this look or any other looks, leave them uh, down in the comments below. If you wanna see techniques or commercials broken down, leave the links down below and I will try and get to them. Uh, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.